Okay, fine, yes. I will show you how to make the paper Jeffy puppet. Y'all been asking it for so long. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, y'all been asking, can you show us how to make the paper Jeff puppet? But for real though, yes, I, I'm doing a tutorial. Finally, you guys will be able to make your own. Why is the diaper missing? Finally, you guys will be able to make your own paper Jeff puppet that I made um, a long time ago. Anyway, before we get to the story video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, post notifications on so y'all won't miss any upcoming videos like this one. And uh, click the thumbs up button so, because uh, 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 it would help me out a lot. Okay, so let's get into the story. To make the Jeffy puppet, the paper Jeff puppet, you guys will be needing some paper. You guys will be needing a lot of paper. I'm talking a lot. You'll be needing some paper. You'll also be needing some coloring. You'll be needing a lot of coloring. Or you can use some markers. You have every color you need inside. So anyway, a lot of coloring, some paper. You will also be needing some scissors. You'll be needing uh, scissors, doesn't matter what, what size it is. And you will be needing a tape. You'll be needing a tape. Uh, you will also be needing, of course, some paper glue. Doesn't matter if it's liquid or... or normal. Anyway, to make the Jeff Puppet, you will be needing all of these materials. Let's get right to tutorial. Okay, so, first you take your paper, and you start making the mouth, the inside of the mouth. To make the mouth, you take a sketching pencil, and you start sketching the mouth. To do that, you fold the paper in half, right there. Then, you start sketching from around here. Just like that, you sketch the mouth. So you kind of redo the same thing on the other side. That way you have a full mouth. Just like that. And then you do a line in the middle. And then, this is the important part. You do the tongue and the black roof of the mouth. You sketch it out. So you sketch that out just like that. If you don't like it, you can erase it and redo it. That's what you're doing with a pencil, because if you do an error, you can erase and uh, redo it. Just like I did right now. And now you're going to take a black marker and you're going to outline the sketching that you just drew. Okay, so you take a black marker and you start outlining. Then after you're done doing that, you take your black marker and you start coloring the inside of the top of the roof. By the way, make sure you guys watch the video till the end so you won't miss any details or any uh, any steps on how to make the, the puppet. Anyway, after you're done coloring, uh, I didn't color it like completely perfect because this is just an example that I'm making. But if, you, if you're coloring it, make sure to color like really black, just like that. After you're done coloring the roof of the mouth, start coloring the tongue. Start coloring the tongue the pink color. Okay, so after you're done coloring that, again, I didn't color it completely 
perfect because because um, this is just an example that I'm making. After you're done with the top of the roof of the mouth and the tongue, you take your most red, reddish color you can you can find, and you start coloring the entire the entire mouth, just like this. Okay, finally, it's done. Perfect example. So yeah, there. Now you will be cutting this out. There you go. You cut it out and you fold it just like that. Now you have your mouth. And do not throw this away because you'll be needing this later. Okay, now you take another paper and uh, this time you will be making the front of the face. So. To do that, you'll be needing a uh, skin color pencil. Okay, so you take a uh, skin color paper. No, what, what, what? I mean, you take a uh, skin color pencil, start just coloring the entire paper. Red one. Just like that, you color the entire paper. You take another paper and you color it. Okay, so you colored your second paper. Just like that, a skin color. So you take your first one and then you fold this side. Whichever side you want, you just fold it over like this. You fold it over like that, and then you will start cutting some spaces so that the face can fold. For example, the Jeff Puppet looks like Minecraft, and it literally looks like a cube, Steve Head. I will be doing the same model, I'm about to show you how to do it. You take the paper, you fold it like this, and you start cutting. One, two. Three, four, and five. That's how you do it. You fold it just like that. And see, it, it forms that face. So then you take the mouth that you just made, you take some glue, and you put it on, you put it on here. And then you Glue that right on top of the roof, right on top of the mouth, just like that. And then you do the same thing for the entire mouth. You glue the entire face on the top of the mouth, and from the inside it should look something like that. And then if you want to secure the inside, you can take some tape, you take some tape and then you tape it right on there. Okay, so you should have something like that. Get out of the way, now. Dude. This is Mrs. Donut, if y'all didn't know. She's a cute kitty cat. Come here. Let's do dance. Anyway, uh, back to the video. So my camera just died yesterday, and um, you might see me with different clothes because making the puppet takes a lot of time. So uh, I was saying it should look something like this. If you want to secure the inside of the mouth taped on um, the face, I recommend putting some tapes on there just like that. So, let's continue. 
Now you take your second paper, they color with the skin color, and you do the same thing. You fold right there, just like that. Then you do the same thing, you take the paper you just folded, and then you, you cut some spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So you cut it just like that. Now this is going now this is going to be the chin. So after you have cut the uh, spaces, you have to take this part and fold it right around there. Just like that. So that this makes the chin. Just like that. Now Spaces, the chin, and down here. And here we are going to cut it off. You cut it off, and you do the exact same thing on the other side too. You cut the little spaces, and this makes the chin now. So you put some glue on here. the exact same way we do the other part. Right, so you glue it just like that and you secure it inside with the tape just like we did on the other side. There, you secure it with the tape just like on the other side. I just added a little bit of tape right here because it, it ripped. So if your um, if the chin or the top rips, you can like here, you can add some tape to secure that. Anyways, after you have done that, now we will take the chin and we will glue the chin together just like that, so that it doesn't fall apart in there. So take some glue, 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 glue right here. bottom of the chin so now it doesn't fall apart anymore now this is your face this is the chin this is the top of the face so uh, to complete the entire chin you take this piece of paper that you we cut off earlier and you put it you put it just like that take some tape then you tape this right over here just like that and you do the same thing on the other side Now we have taped that on the chin and uh, take your scissors and you kind of cut the form of the chin. Just like that. Then you take some tape, then you tape the bottom of the chin and you do that for the entire part of the chin. There, as y'all can see, you tape the entire bottom of the chin. That's how you complete the chin. Then I will show you how to do the back. So there, you have completed the chin and uh, now we are going to continue on the face. So now, to complete the face, you take the head just like this, you put it down, and then you fold it just like that. If you guys want the exact same size as my Jacobitz face, uh, it is around 5 inches. It's around right there, 5 inches. There we go. After you have done that, you will have to take the head of the puppet and you will make those tiny, those tiny cut spaces the same way we did for the top of the chin. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And now you take your tape with your glue and you glue the top just like we did on the bottom. Just like that. So I used tape because the glue wasn't really doing this well. So when you use tape, it's better. You, know, you can do it way perfectly. It's just like the chin, just like I showed the chin. Same for the top of the face. So there, that's your head. Now we are going to complete the top of the head. We are going to do the same thing that we did for the bottom of the chin that we just. So you take another paper, you take your skin color pencil, and you color just the top. So 
So then you take your scissors and you do something like this. So you take the top of the head and we do the same thing. You put it just right there and then you tape it on the top. You tape it just like that. Then you take your scissors and you do the exact same thing that I showed you for the chin. You cut Just like I showed you for the chin. There we go. You close the head just like that, and there's your head. Now we will do the back of the head. And this is the important part. Remember when I told you do not throw away the piece of paper that we drew the mouth on? So this is for the back of the head. Take the skin color pencil, and then you start coloring. It. Okay. After you have colored that, you don't have to color the uh, bottom. You just press for here. And now we are going to use this to complete the back of the head. So you take this and then you cut it right in the middle. Then you take a piece of paper and you take some tape and you put some tape on the corner, the top, top corner right there. And then you take that and you tape it just like. Take another piece of tape and you tape the right side of the top corner. Just like that. I'm trying to show you guys the exact same details that you will have a perfect paper jet that you're making. So anyway, after you have done that, you do the same thing on the other side as well. So you do that on both sides, and then you take more tape and you take the middle. Put some tapes all the way from here to down here. Because we're going to put the tape from here to there, to there, to there, to there. And we're going to do the same thing on both sides. There. You put some tapes just like that to um, put the back of the head in place. And now for these down here, you cut it off right above there. And then you tape it like that. And there you have completed the back of the head. If you want to color this part of the chin, you take a piece of paper and color with the skin color. Then you take some scissors and you cut it just like that. And you put tape right there. Then you tape it just like that. Just like that. And then you do the same thing from here to here. Now you take your scissors and you cut it right over there. Now you do the same thing on the other side as well. Just like that, you have completed the chin, the back of the head, your entire face of paper jet puppet. Make something like this. This will help you to put your two fingers inside here to make the connection. Just like that on the inside you glue it so they will come off. Secure it even more you can tape it on the inside. Like that. So there you go, you have made the head of the puppet. Congratulations on coming this far. You have completely made head of the puppet. Congratulations if you have made this far. And continue on watching the video if you want to make the body. Alright guys, day 3 of making the Paper Jeff puppet. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make the uh, details on the face. Now for this real one, like it, it has an actual round nose with a real pencil. And um, the eyebrow and the eyes look like... And the eyes look shiny. Therefore the paper one let's say uh it's just paper paper one uh as you can see the nose is actually not really round as 
real one. The teeth actually look like the real ones. And the eyes, uh, and the eyes are just the eyes. The eyebrow, I'd say it looks similar. So anyway, now I am going to be showing you guys how to make the face, the ears, and uh, the helmet. So let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so to make the face, you start off by taking a piece of paper, and you fold it like this. So we fold the paper like this, because we're going to draw the nose here, which is going to be a little circle. You can fold it even more to make, it, to make the nose even more thicker. So you take uh, your pencil, you draw a circle. You can do whatever size you want. And then draw something like that. Then I uh, take the skin color pencil and I just color it over. Just like that. Then you take a black marker. Take a black marker and you outline the, uh, the nose. Now you unfold the paper. Then you put some glue on every single rectangle. You put some glue on the entire paper. After you put some glue, you can fold it. You fold it and then you put some more glue. Finally, on the last one, you, put on, you do the same thing. And there you go. You let this dry for a bit because we are going to cut the nose out. Really. Now for the eyes, we are going to make the eyes. So you can pause the video and uh, draw the same eyes you see on my puppet. So to do that, you do the same thing. You fold the paper. This, and then you sketch out the eye on the paper. Okay, so I just drew everything right here. This is the uh, right eye and this is the left eye. I drew the ears, I drew the teeth, the pencil, and the nose. So basically, when you're drawing details of face, you just basically fold the paper like this. And then you do the same thing that I showed you for the nose, you put some glue on it and let it dry. So now I'm going to color all these and uh, outline them with black marker. And I also made the eyebrow because I forgot to do it. Okay, so now you are going to take some tape. You are going to um, wrap the teeth in some tape. Which we have like this. We'll put some tape on the uh, drawing to secure the safety that it won't rip. So you wrap the teeth with the tape like that, and um, you do the same thing with the pencil, so that the, the color will come off. There we go, I wrapped the drawing in some tape. 
tape so that the color won't come off by time passes. You don't have to do the eyes or the nose, just the pencil and the tape. So now you take the face and you just glue everything just like this. So you can either glue or tape it. I prefer to glue it because it looks uh, way more clean and you don't see the tapes. So I'm going to glue everything on the face right now. There we go, right there. We glued everything on the face and we put some tape as well. So for the pencil, we put some tape from here to here. Make sure the pencil doesn't fall out. And uh, for the nose, you put some tape from here to here and from here to here. Same for the eyes. You can just put some tapes however you want to secure it to make sure uh, the drawings don't fall out. For the eyebrow, Single eyebrow, just put some tape on it, or you can glue it. For the ear, you fold the ears right there. Like you fold it, and you put some glue on that spot, you glue it, and then you put some tape from here to there. The teeth are a little bit tricky because you can't glue the tape. So you put some tape like that, and then you tape it from the front and from the back. You, tape. you put some tape from here to down there, and from here to down there. There you go. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make the helmet. Alright, okay, so for the helmet, you take a piece of paper and a blue marker or a coloring pencil and you color the entire paper. There, after you have colored piece of paper, you take this side and you fold it. This is going to be the front side of the helmet, and you're going to take you're going to take your head off from it, and you put this, you put the helmet on top, and right there, you fold it, you fold it right here where the head ends. Basically, you're going to measure the top of the head. So this is the front of the helmet, and this is the back. Then you do the same thing on the left and the right. You measure it on the head. So after you have measured the head, you will take the you will take the helmet, and this is what you're going to do. You are going to fold the sides like this. You will take the tape. that on all of the sides. So there. Now this might look like a uh, Minecraft helmet, but we'll make it look like an actual helmet. Then, you take your scissors, and this is what you're going to do. There, this is what you're going to do. Basically, you take your scissors and then you, then you kind of curve that out. Curve out that helmet form. Line in the middle, and then you take both ends, and then you tape it just like this. So then you can put it on. Jack. Now you can make the string that goes under the mouth, but you don't have to make the string. You can just take some tape and then tape it like this. And there you go. That, that is how you make the paper Jeff puppet head. I think this one looks way better than my uh, first original one. And there you have it. Paper Jeff Puppet's entire head. If you have made it this far to the video, congratulations. You made the head of Paper Jeff Puppet. To be honest, this one looks way cleaner than my old one. So thank you for watching part one. Part two will be released soon. Until part two comes out, make sure you guys check out the video where I show you how to make the Jeff Puppet's paper clothing. Part 2 is coming out soon. In part 2, I'll be showing you guys how to make the entire body. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe with post notifications on so you won't miss the part 2 of how to make paper jet puppet tutorial. I'll see you guys in part 2.